guys, I'm Pearl. Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually not in the Happy Oyster right now. I'm actually in my garden. And today I wanted to show you guys something really cool. We built a butterfly garden bed to attract swallowtail butterflies. And just a few weeks ago, some swallowtail butterflies flooded in here and laid eggs on the fennel. And over the past couple of weeks, we've been watching them hatch and grow. But between the fennel and the dill, we had about a dozen of them. But you know, sometimes, Certain kinds of wasps and birds will swoop down here and they'll pick them off and they'll kill them. So we're now down to three. And there could still be some somewhere else in the garden thriving. But as far as we can see, we've only got three left. And these three on the fennel are starting to make chrysalists. So here's the caterpillars up close. There's three. That one over there. This one. And this one. And how we could tell that they were about to make chrysalis is when they're in this position on the fennel or dill, you know, whatever plant they're on, um, they make this one little strand of silk that almost acts as a belt and it wraps around them and the plant and it holds them to it. I don't know that you guys can see it, it's very, very thin. And in case y'all didn't know, a butterfly does not make a cocoon, it makes a chrysalis. There are actually many types of moths that make cocoons, um, but butterflies don't. The difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis is with the cocoon, it's actually made of silk and it's spun around the larva. And with the chrysalis, it's actually a hardened protein within the larva. And they shed their outer skin and then they start their metamorphosis within the chrysalis. Me and my mom are going to be building a netted box to go over the bed so that um, predators can't get to them. So I just found a caterpillar on the side of our house. Looks like he made his way from the dill over there, over here, and attached himself to the back of the house. We'll keep these pieces of wood in front of him so that no predators will really see him. I just came over here to catch a lizard that I spotted and I just saw him. I was like, hey, look at that. So I'll video and picture him throughout the week, see how he's doing. So I came out here this morning and I saw that the caterpillars changed overnight. They're now in the second stage of metamorphosis. And whenever they come out of the chrysalis, I'm gonna try my best to get it on video. So that'll be really awesome. This morning we woke up and the butterflies had emerged from the chrysalis. They're so beautiful. Um, the one that was on the side of the house, because he was not in a confined space and there was something covering him, he just emerged and flew away, so we couldn't see him, sadly. Um, and I was hoping I could get them on video emerging, but I couldn't because they did it early this morning. But they're so, so beautiful. So here's a few videos of them. Okay. Look at how pretty. Oh, there's another caterpillar, too. Right there. Yeah. I have even more caterpillar. Right there. Oh my gosh. We have even more butterflies. So then I guess they were in here and we didn't know? I, maybe there were eggs. There you may have been think, eggs in there. They, oh, I bet that's well, what okay, it was. Yeah. They are beautiful. I'm so upset that I didn't get them emerging on video. They did it overnight and then my mom just woke me up and told me that they had come out of the chrysalises. But they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love these little lines here. It's like I just took took the wings and smeared them. <laughs> Look at the colors; they're beautiful. And here's the other two. And we just found out that there's two other caterpillars. There's that one, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's one in there. Um, and I'm gonna try to get them emerging on video because. 
we did not, we didn't even see that. I bet there was eggs in there that we didn't see and they finally just turned into caterpillars. But we, apparently, there was a lot more in there than we got. I can put my hand in. Hello. Come on. This one is just fluttering, fluttering. This is absolutely amazing. We just raised butterflies. It doesn't seem very scared. Oh, he was on me for a second. <laughs> he just doesn't want to let go of the top. It's okay. He just doesn't want to let go of the top. <laughs> I don't want to injure your wing, so. <laughs> well, maybe we should give him a little bit. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. He's sniffing me with his legs. He's probably tasting my hand. That would be a beautiful ring. <laughs> the what? I said it'd be a beautiful ring. It would. Oh. Uh. Very pretty. Beautiful. Come on. They're so beautiful. And they don't seem scared of us for some reason. Most butterflies would take off. We got some fruit. They love fruit. The phone's not wanting to focus. Oh, it's focusing on the mesh. Can you get it to focus? It's focusing on the mesh. You have to get it really close. Let them fly out. Let's fly out. There we go. It's like fly, fly. It's like oh, free. <laughs> now we need the other two. We just landed on the fly out. So probably, ooh, here, go ahead and probably just stay here though. Pull it down. Do you just want to go land on this? <laughs> That one landed over there on the tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. It's gone now. Well, they know where to come to if they want any fennel. True. This is where they were. Here, why don't you pull this down? Later. Scrip it. See if I can pull it off of the fiddle. No. Ew! What? Some kind of liquid came out of it. That's the stuff that digests it. Ew! <laughs> it just ew, ew, ew. It's one of the butterflies that flew away is still up in this tree. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> the wind's kind of, kind of flopping him around, but he's still up there. So guys, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. 
If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.